Sheshem, also spelled Sikkim, Hebrew, Sikkim Sekim Standard Skem Tiberian Sekim, shoulder, was a Canaanite city mentioned in the Amarna letters, and is mentioned in the Hebrew Bible as an Israelite city of the tribe of Manasseh and the first capital of the Kingdom of Israel. Traditionally associated with Nablus, it is now identified with the nearby site of Tel Balata in Balata al Balad in the West Bank. Geographical position Sheshem's position is indicated in the Hebrew Bible, it lay north of Bethel and Shiloh, on the high road going from Jerusalem to the northern districts Judges XXI, 19, at a short distance from Michmathath Joshua chapter 17 verse 7 and Adothan Genesis chapter 37 verses 12 to 17, it was in the hill country of Ephraim Joshua chapter 20 verse 7, 21 21, 1 Kings chapter 12 verse 25, 1 Chronicles chapter 6 verse 67, 728 immediately below Mount Gerizim Judges chapter 9 verses 6 to 7 These indications are substantiated by Josephus who says that the city lay between Mount Abal and Mount Gerizim and by the Madaba map which places Sichem also called Sikima between the Tur Gobel Abal and the Tur Garazan Garazim the site of Sheshem in patristic sources is almost invariably identified with, or located close to, the town of Flavia Neapolis Nablus. History <laughs> Early history The old city of Sheshem dates back to about an estimated 4,000 years. Sheshem is mentioned in the 3rd millennium Ebla tablets found at Tel Mardik in the context of a city of which Rasap is the patron deity. Sheshem was a commercial center due to its position in the middle of vital trade routes through the region. It traded in local grapes, olives, wheat, livestock and pottery between the Middle Bronze Age and the Late Hellenistic Period 1900 to 100 BC. Sheshem had been a Canaanite settlement, first mentioned in Egyptian texts on the Sebek Khu stele, an Egyptian stele of a noble at the court of Senusrei III c. 1880 to 1840 BC. In the Amarna letters of about 1350 BC, Sakmu was the center of a kingdom carved out by Labaya or Labayu, a Canaanite warlord who recruited mercenaries from among the Habiru. Labaya was the author of three Amarna letters EA 252, EA 253, and EA 254, and his name appears in eleven of the other 382 letters, referred to 28 times, with the basic topic of the letter, being Labaya himself, and his relationship with the rebelling, countryside Habiru. It may be identical to the Sarkama mentioned in an account dated to the 19th Egyptian dynasty. See Papyrus Anastasi I. Topic in the Hebrew Bible, Old Testament. Sheshem first appears in the Hebrew Bible in Genesis chapter 12, verses 6 to 8, which says that Abraham reached the great tree of Morah at Sheshem and offered sacrifice nearby. Genesis, Deuteronomy, Joshua and Judges hallow Sheshem over all other cities of the land of Israel. According to Genesis 12-6-7 Abram, "...built an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him and had given that land to his descendants." At Sheshem. The Bible states that on this occasion, God confirmed the covenant he had first made with Abraham in Haran, regarding the possession of the land of Canaan. In Jewish tradition, the old name was understood in terms of the Hebrew word Shechem, shoulder, saddle, corresponding to the mountainous configuration of the place. On a later sojourn, two sons of Jacob, Simeon Hebrew Bible, and Levi, avenged their sister Dinah's rape by Sheshem the son of Hamor the Hivite, the prince of the land of Sheshem. Shimon and Levi said to the Sheshemites that, if Every male among you is circumcised, then we will give our daughters to you and take your daughters to ourselves. 
Once the Sheshemites agree to the mass circumcision, however, Jacob's sons repay them by killing all of the city's male inhabitants. Following the settlement of the Israelites in Canaan after their exodus from Egypt, according to the biblical narrative, Joshua assembled the Israelites at Sheshem and asked them to choose between serving the God who had delivered them from Egypt, the gods which their ancestors had served on the other side of the Euphrates River, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land they now lived. The people chose to serve the God of the Bible, a decision which Joshua recorded in the Book of the Law of God, and he then erected a memorial stone, under the oak that was by the sanctuary of the Lord, in Sheshem. The oak is associated with the Oak of Mora, where Abram had set up camp during his travels in this area. Sheshem and its surrounding lands were given as a Levitical city to the Kohathites, owing to its central position, no less than to the presence in the neighborhood of places hallowed by the memory of Abraham. Genesis chapter 12 verses 6, 7, 34 to 5. Jacob's Well. Genesis chapter 33 verses 18 to 19, 34 to 2, etc. And Joseph's tomb. Joshua chapter 24 verse. 32, the city was destined to play an important part in the history of Israel. Jerobal Gideon, whose home was at Ophrah, visited Sheshem, and his concubine who lived there was mother of his son Abimelech Judges chapter 8 verse 31. She came from one of the leading Sheshemite families who were influential with the "...lords of Sheshem." Judges chapter 9 verses 1 to 3 wording of the new revised standard version and new american bible revised edition after gideon's death abimelech was made king judges chapter 9 verses 1 to 45 jotham the youngest son of gideon made an allegorical speech on mount gerizim in which he warned the people of sheshem about abimelech's future tyranny judges chapter 9 verses 7 to 20 when the city rose in rebellion three years later, Abimelech took it, utterly destroyed it, and burnt the temple of Baal Bereth where the people had fled for safety. The city was rebuilt in the 10th century BC and was probably the capital of Ephraim 1 Kings chapter 4. Sheshem was the place appointed, after Solomon's death, for the meeting of the people of Israel and the investiture of his son Rehoboam as king. The meeting ended in the secession of the ten northern tribes, and Sheshem, fortified by Jeroboam, became the capital of the new kingdom. 1 Kings chapter 12 verse 1, 14, 17, 2 Chronicles chapter 10 verse 1. After the kings of Israel moved first to Terzah, 1 Kings chapter 14 verse 17, and later on to Samaria, Sheshem lost its importance, and we do not hear of it until after the fall of Jerusalem, 587 BC, Jeremiah chapter 12 verse 5. The events connected with the restoration were to bring it again into prominence. When, on his second visit to Jerusalem, Nehemiah expelled the grandson of the high priest Eliashib probably the Manus of Josephus, Antiquities, 11, 7, 7 and with him the many Jews, priests and laymen, who sided with the rebel, these betook themselves to Sheshem. A schismatic temple was then erected on Mount Garizim and thus Sheshem became the holy city of the Samaritans. The latter, who were left unmolested while the Orthodox Jews were chafing under the heavy hand of Antiochus IV Antiquities, 12, v. 5, see also Antinomianism in the books of the Maccabees and welcomed with open arms every renegade who came to them from Jerusalem Antique, 11, 7, 7, fell about 128 BC before John Hyrcanus, and their temple was destroyed Antiquities, 13, x, 1. Topic. New Testament Sheshem is mentioned in the Book of Acts, Acts chapter 7 verse 16. It is not known whether the Samaritan city of Succor in the Gospel of John, John chapter 4 verse 5 refers to Sheshem or to another nearby village. So he came to a Samaritan city called Succor, near the plot of ground that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. John chapter 4 verse 15 mentions one of the women of Succor going to Jacob's well. Some scholars believe the location of Succor is at the foot of Mount Abal, but other scholars disagree because the proposed location is located one kilometer from Jacob's well, which they think is not close enough for the women of Succor to have fetched their water there. Based on John chapter 4 verse 15, these scholars have argued that Sheshem is the Samaritan city of Succor described in the Gospel of John. Sheshem is also the location of Jacob's well, where John chapter 4 verses 5 to 6 describes Jesus meeting with the woman of Samaria. 
Some of its inhabitants were of the number of the Samaritans who believed in Jesus when he tarried two days in the neighborhood John chapter 4. The city must have been visited by the apostles on their way from Samaria to Jerusalem Acts chapter 8 verse 25. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Classical history. In classical times, Shechem was the main settlement of the Samaritans, whose religious center stood on Mount Gerizim, just outside the town. In AD 6, Shechem was annexed to the Roman province of Syria. Of the Samaritans of Sikkim not a few rose up in arms on Mount Gerizim at the time of the Galilean Rebellion AD 67, which was part of the First Jewish-Roman War. The city was very likely destroyed by Serialis, during that war. In AD 72, a new city, Flavia Neapolis, was built by Vespasian two kilometers to the west of the old one. This city's name was eventually corrupted to the modern Nablus. Josephus, writing in about AD 90 Jewish Antiquities 4.8.44, placed the city between Mount Gerizim and Mount Abal. Elsewhere he refers to it as Neapolis. In Emperor Hadrian's reign, the temple on Mount Gerizim was restored and dedicated to Jupiter. Like Shechem, Neapolis had a very early Christian community, including the early St. Justin Martyr. We hear even of bishops of Neapolis. On several occasions, the Christians suffered greatly from the Samaritans. In 474 the emperor, to avenge what Christians considered an unjust attack by the Samaritans, deprived the latter of Mount Gerizim and gave it to the Christians, who built on it a church dedicated to the Blessed Virgin. <laughs> Later history The city of Nablus was Islamicized in the Abbasid and Ottoman periods. In 1903 near Nablus, a German party of archaeologists led by Dr. Hermann Tiersch stumbled upon the site called Tel Balata and now identified as ancient Shechem. Nablus is still referred to as Shechem by Israelis and Hebrew speakers. <laughs> <laughs> Distinguish from Sikkim is an old spelling for Zichem, a Flemish municipality which was named after the biblical Sikkim, it is now merged into Scherpenhuvel Zichem. Sekum is an anthroposophical and Islamic foundation and farming village centered on principles for biodynamic agriculture in Egypt. This name refers to Shechem, and to the ancient Egyptian hieroglyph pronounced Sekum meaning vitality or life. See also Biblical archaeology Kingdom of Israel